she say you look good? You just want to park and come hang out? Oh, you want to come smoke? Where am I dropping you guys off? Right here. Come hang with us. So you give my friend a show? A lap dance? You need to report them all. Equality. I believe in equality. All this is harassment. Report all these pervs. Wanna come drink with us? It's my birthday. We love him. I hate guys that fall asleep when I'm sucking. Hey. Whoa. That don't must be trash. Fall asleep. <laughs> hey, I give her credit for admitting that out loud. That is just. Man. Yo. I like to do what I want to do. Like, I don't like to listen to anybody else. Right, and that's the problem, ladies. And look, you can do what you want to do. Is the outcome going to be positive 10 years down the line? Usually no. Somebody has to be able to tell you something. You don't know it all. No one knows it all. The smartest human being on earth doesn't know it all. And that's the thing. This whole rebellious spirit, nobody can tell me what to do. You're never going to be in a successful relationship with a worthwhile man. Only weak men will let you be in a relationship with them and just do whatever you want to do. So if you ever want to be in a relationship with a man you genuinely respect, you're going to have to let him tell you what to do on some level. There's going to be standards, rules, regulations, guidelines, just with having a family, period. To make a household work with a family, there's rules, regulations, guidelines. You can't stay out all night. It's a bunch of stuff. So that's why a lot of you women aren't cut out to have a family or be in a healthy relationship. You're too used to doing whatever you want to do. It's going to catch up with you, though, I promise. I don't like being told what to do. Like, I'm going to do me regardless, respectfully. Like, if I'm in a relationship, you know, like, I'm going to, you know. Whoa. Be very Whoa. respectful because all right so she just I'm threw okay. herself under the bus for anybody who really just paid attention to what was just said respectfully she just literally said even if i'm, I'm a, in a relationship i'm a, I'm a free spirit i can do what i want she's one of those until you put a ring on it i'm i'm single <laughs> i just heard that the other day from somebody else i wanted to bop that chick right in her forehead i said what the hell makes you think that a guy wants to tie you down if you ain't gonna be loyal to him before he ties you down someone in the church should not be looking like a stripper I have on makeup, I have on lip gloss, so what would, what would be your assessment of me? My assessment wouldn't be anything, but okay. from a biblical perspective, I don't believe uh, from a biblical perspective that a woman have to wear makeup and fake hair to be beautiful. What do your daughters think about what you say about women, or do they agree with you? Yes, they do. And they yeah, ladies, you gotta stop saying like, but don't you got a mama? But what your daughters think, that's not disproving his point. Like, disprove his point. If you disagree and he's wrong, disprove him intellectually. Don't say, but you got a mama. You saying something that I don't agree with and I'm a woman, but what about the women in your life? Do you still say those things to them, but they're women? And what, like, what? They don't agree with me because I'm their father. I believe they should be an independent thinker. But I also don't want my daughters out here with walking the street with tights on and a halter just so men can walk around or drive by and bump their horn at them and whistle at them. So is it their fault or is it the men's fault? For it's their fault. <laughs> I mean, I mean, okay, if we really going to break it down, it's both of their faults. I don't think you should ride down the street and hunk your horn at women. But I also don't think women should wear things that they know for a fact is going to draw that type of attention and then claim they didn't want it. That's absurd. Or sexualizing them. It is the nature of a man to be attracted to a woman who hardly have anything on. Tights and a halter top? Yes. Yes. There are certain looks that a woman can have. I love when they try to play dumb. You don't know skin tight pants and skin tight this and skin tight that attract attention from men. Stop the cap. Please, ladies. You're not convincing anybody that you're unaware. Stop on that make it appear that attracts certain men that's just a fact would you rather have a high profile job for no pay or clean sewers for a hundred thousand dollars a year i struggle with um the smell of poo <laughs> so i think a high profile job with no pay because when you think about it it was oh my who don't struggle with the smell of poo <laughs> i think that's pretty universal i mean if i had to choose 
obviously I'm going to choose the job to pay a hundred thousand, or I'm going to choose the job that pay 20,000 over the high profile job that pay nothing. I'll choose the job to pay 2000 a year over the high profile job that doesn't pay anything. This is, this is sad. Come with incentives. You can pay your mortgage though. I guess there's pros to both of them, but to give you a flat out answer, um, I would prefer to have the high profile job without pay because if I was high profile, I'd market myself to be sponsored by some company. And That's actually not a terrible answer, but I'll say I'll take the job that make $100,000 a year because there's no guarantee you're going to be able to get a sponsor or you're going to be able to finagle that into other bags. I mean, you could go for it, but I just take the guarantee hundred K and finagle and invest that.